Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be sharing my July favorites. I've collected all my favorites for this month and I'm gonna be telling you guys all about it in this video. So if you are interested in checking out what I've been loving this month, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the food items because I wanna stick them back in the freezer slash refrigerator so that they don't like get ruined. So first thing I'm gonna talk about is actually my favorite drink at the moment. And it's this body armor, it's not new or anything. It's the strawberry banana body armor. I have been obsessed with this, this pregnancy. Um, my drink of choice last pregnancy was Blue Powerade with lots of ice. And I still really like Blue Powerade. It's still a favorite, but this has like been my go-to. I actually have um, a few sips of this every single morning with my prenatal. So my doctor actually recommended that I drink my prenatal and all of my daily vitamins with juice instead of water. I don't really drink juice at all. Like I literally only drink water the entire day. So a little swig of juice in the morning is just like nice and something I look forward to doing. She recommended taking juice with my vitamins because um, anything that's high in vitamin C is gonna help like absorb the nutrients of the medication better. So body armor, the shard banana flavor has been my jam this pregnancy. I love it, I crave it, I'm, I look forward to it with my prenatals every morning. My next little favorite treat if you will during this pregnancy has been these true fru frozen bananas they're frozen bananas that have peanut butter and they're dipped in dark chocolate these are so good you guys they're like super small i mean they're not really that healthy either they're like 100 calories for every two pieces so i guess it's not terrible but they're about this big they're so good they they taste like ice cream this is like my dessert at night most nights if i'm not having an ice cream snickers bar which is my other favorite this month i didn't even bother bringing those because i feel like everybody knows what a snickers bar looks like it's just the ice cream bar instead so delicious i'm obsessed with those as well but these are a little bit of a healthier alternative to the ice cream snickers bar Okay, so it's a little while later. We actually had to run out and do an errand, eat some food. We went and got breakfast together. So I'm filming the rest of this now. Mama, if I look mama, mama, a little mama. different, I reapplied um, my lipstick. I actually, this is my favorite combination at the moment, which I don't know if I've shared it in a different video or not. So it's worth mentioning. But my next favorite is this cup. And this is truly, truly my most favorite item this entire month is this cup. Now, I'll try to keep this short because I do have a lot to say about why I love this cup so much. But I'll start with saying that I really wanted the Stanley Cup. I've been waiting and waiting for the 40-ounce Stanley Cup to come back in stock in the color Drift. Whatever the, mama. like... Excuse me. Yeah, mama. 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 Mama! Mama! Shh, Archie. Mama? Archie? Mama? Be quiet. Thank you. Mama! He's just doing this on purpose because I'm talking. I have been waiting for the Stanley Cup to come back into stock in the color Driftwood. Honestly, any color at this point. Like, I just really wanted a cup that offered all the things that that cup offered and it's not coming back in stock it's not projected to be back in stock till january and i'm like no way i'm not waiting that long so i went online got on amazon and searched like stanley cup dupes and i ran across this guy now it's not the prettiest cup this is not my vibe in terms of the aesthetic of it even like the the thickness like how wide it is up here i wasn't like crazy about but other than the way it looks, it really does check off all the boxes. So I was looking for a drink that was gonna keep my drink cold. I need anything I drink, and it's really just Mama. water nowadays. I'm sorry about Archie in the background, but like it is what it is. <laughs> anything I drink has to be ice, ice cold, and I hate whenever like an hour goes by and my drink is now room temperature. Like 
wanted something that was gonna keep my drink ice cold and this does it i'm talking about i wake up and there's still ice in my cup so i love that i wanted something that held a lot of water this is a 40 ounce cup just like the stanley cup so boom checked off the second requirement keeps my drink cold holds a lot of water so i don't have to refill a straw is essential for me to be able to drink a lot of water throughout the day. If you're having a hard time um, keeping hydrated and drinking a lot of water, I cannot recommend a cup with a straw enough. Like, it seriously makes all the difference for me to drink out of a straw. When I'm drinking out of a straw, I could finish this entire thing in just a few hours. If I'm just, like, taking little sips of it here and there, like, I'll never get through even a glass of water. So, straw was the second, I mean, the third requirement. Next, I wanted something that was easy to carry around. So I've got the little handle, which is great. Um, and then the fifth item that I wanted it to have was that it would fit in my cup holder. Now, I will say this doesn't securely fit snug in my cup holder, but I can put it in my cup holder and it sits up a little higher than I would love for it to sit up, but it stays and it doesn't fall. Like if I'm like, you know, whipping it, she's not going anywhere. And that's like the most important thing. So those were like my five requirements, all things that the Stanley Cup has, except the Stanley Cup is just a lot cuter. It's like sleeker, it's beautiful, it's like thin and narrow, a little bit more tall, it has a handle, it has a straw, it has the lid, it has the, you know, capability of fitting in your cup holder. It holds a lot of liquid and it keeps your drink cold, it's also cute. This color, you know, it's just not my favorite, like it's this like periwinkle bluish purple color. And she's a little bit like chunkier than I wanted. So is it the cutest cup in the world? Personally, not my favorite, but it does all the things I wanted it to do. And it has been my go-to cup. I have literally not used anything else but this and I take it everywhere I go. So this one's by a brand called Reduce. Got it off Amazon. They do have other colors. They had like this obnoxious like blue, like mint blue green color or this in the 40 ounce but if you go to a smaller size they had a few other options unfortunately i didn't want a smaller size i wanted the 40 ounce so i had those two two colors to choose from and i went with this one but this is like by far my most favorite item now i've talked about this cup for like five minutes now it's time to move on all right so i mentioned my lip combination and i'm not sure if i've shared this in a youtube video yet so i might as well just talk about it real quick because it really has been my go-to combination since we're no longer wearing masks right now as often i still wear my mask here and there but it's summertime we're outdoors a lot more and i'm able to like sport a lip color more than i have in the last two and a half years so my favorite combo right now is la girl lip liner in the color bear i'll overline my lips just a little bit with this lip liner and then i have this little mini which i need to go by the full size it's by melt cosmetics and it's in the color frisky love this color and i'm like terrified of when i'm gonna run out of it i hope they still have it because i did get this a while ago but favorite favorite lip combo right now i love it it's like my perfect nude uh, my lips but way better color all right so since you know i did like makeup body type things will stay in that realm my next favorite is this little bio bio oil so um this is part of my everyday night routine every time i get out of the shower i'll put on my robe and before i get dressed before i do anything else i will lather my belly my boobs my butt a little bit with this oil now i use this for my pregnancy with archie and i don't think that this necessarily prevents stretch marks or anything like that but it does really hydrate your skin it feels really like luxurious it smells super nice um i didn't get like a lot of stretch marks with my pregnancy with archie but i really just think a lot of that is just genetics so i'm not gonna say that this prevented stretch marks or anything like that i don't know but it is a great step especially when your skin is really stretched and itchy this is a really good job of just like keeping that stretched skin very nice and glowy and hydrated. So bio oil has been a favorite of mine this month as my belly is getting a lot bigger. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I shared it on my Instagram, my 18 week 
belly update, bump update, and I shared side by side what I looked like when I was pregnant with Archie at 18 weeks versus how I look now with this second pregnancy at 18 weeks, and it's like wild how different. Like I had no, barely no bump at all with Archie, and this bump that I'm currently carrying at 18 weeks is like equivalent to my like 25 week bump almost like not as big as 25 weeks with Archie but just about like yeah that second pregnancy is just different other than that though it has been the same I'm not gonna lie all right next for like body items I'm gonna talk about my native deodorant so I like native deodorant I've been using natural deodorant now since I was breastfeeding I think I think while I was pregnant, I used Native too. Like ever since my first pregnancy, I've been using Native deodorant. My favorite scent is the coconut vanilla. I think it's the coconut vanilla. It's the one with the brown label. I tried a different scent this time. I did Cotton Lily and I really, I really like the scent. It's super subtle. It's a lot more faint than the vanilla coconut smell. But what I like about this specifically is that it's the sensitive version. Now, I only saw the sensitive version in this scent, the Cotton Lily scent, in stores. Maybe online you can find more of the sensitive version, but they had it in the Cotton Lily and in the Vanilla Coconut, they had the sensitive. But um, I have really sensitive underarms. Like, I can't shave every single day. I need to skip a few days in between oh. shaving. I get pretty bad razor burn and bumps. And when you use a natural deodorant and you have, like, irritated skin... It burns really bad I don't know if it's just me and I don't think it is because I've heard of other people talking about like a sensitive version of a natural deodorant because it's just like spicy under your arms it feels like you put pepper under there and it can hurt so the sensitive version of this native deodorant has been really great so if you also have I gotta go watch my kid because he's got some crayons in his hand and he just exited the room that's dangerous but real quick if you have sensitive skin like me give um the sensitive and you're you know on a if you use natural deodorant um and you have sensitive skin try the sensitive version of the native it's been really good for me so far i still have you know razor bump and razor burns in my underarms here and there um but i don't find that my deodorant is like agitating that any more than ever um and it doesn't burn it doesn't hurt and i think it has to do with the the sensitive version so i'm really loving that this month all right next i will talk about my favorite scent this month so my go-to summer scent for a lot of years now um has been this uh giorgio armani aqua di gioria aqua di gioria love this scent i used this scent back when i was in the army my best friend actually wore it and I remember thinking like she smells so nice what is she wearing and she told me and I have had it on and off over the years ever since but I just recently picked it back up and I was super excited for it to finally be summer because I really do feel that this is like a true summer scent and it has been my signature scent this summer I love it and yeah I get tons of compliments it's like a super very aromatic fresh clean floral a little tiny bit of floral but not like a lot to me it just reminds me of the summer it reminds me of the beach and it reminds me of like sand and a little sweaty and a little like a tinge of musk i'm not good at describing scents but it smells really good i love it it's my summer scent and it's been my summer scent for quite some time now and yeah it's just like this nostalgia that comes over me every time i spray it all right so next i want to talk about my nails right now so I usually get dip nails done all the time. I will try to do a close-up of this, but my camera takes a long time to focus. Oh, oh, here we go. So that's them. I've never done, focus. I've never done a coffin shape on my nails before. I'm usually um, like squarish, rounded, or almond shape. Almond shape is my go-to shape for when I have longer nails. But I took the dip off for a little while and um, was in a pinch where I wanted to have like my nails kind of looking a little nicer. And I went to the drugstore and picked up these Kiss Press-On Nails. And these are called Classy Nails. Um, what's the color on this? Does it 
tell you. I'm not sure what what color is on here. But they say they last up to a week. I would say that that's probably true. One or two of them have popped off. But I think it's like application error on my end. Like the nail that I picked was a little bit small. So I feel like that makes it like pop off a little faster. But overall, all I did was like pop a different one back on. And they've held up really nice. I've gotten tons of compliments on them. They're just cute and easy and like take such little amount of time to do you don't have to go to the nail salon for like an hour and a half to get your nails done if you're in a pinch i really think these are so cute and like press on nails have come such a long way from when i was a little kid and you know would beg my mom to buy me some press on nails like there's so many nice nails out there for like i don't know like a quarter of what you're gonna pay at the nail salon you can just hop on a press on nail it's less time less money and they have even cuter designs than most nail techs can do sorry archie again in the background but yeah press on nails are my jam right now i really like these ones by kiss and yeah i can't wait to like browse the store for some other styles colors what's the word designs and designs next up i want to talk about my favorite sunglasses right now i actually got these a while ago but they have been like my go-to sunglass at the moment they're these just like super trendy kind of like smaller frame i have them in black they're just too cute i love them i love them pushed back on the top of your head like this and i have them in this like brown uh like tortoise kind of shade these are from amazon they came in a pack of two so i got two of them for like under 15 dollars. i think it was like two for 12 actually i got them a while ago so if you want the link let me know in the like comments and i'll try to find it but they're great and you can't beat that price and they're actually like really strong sturdy glasses for like 12 bucks two of them for 12 bucks like unbeatable love them they're too cute all right, so next up is my favorite jewelry this month. And I don't think I've mentioned this in a favorites video yet. And if I have, then that just goes to show just how much I love them. But I uh, recently picked up, actually it's been a little bit, it's been like at least a month, if not two months, since I picked up some jewelry from a brand on Instagram. It's a small, woman-owned, Latina-owned jewelry brand called Anu. And I'll leave the name here and I'll leave the Instagram in the description. I definitely mentioned it in my previous video that you would have seen already. It'll go up before this one. My um, beach picnic with my bestie girl when I was getting ready. I was using this jewelry that day. But love this necklace. It's a little bit of a shorter choker style necklace. And I got the matching bracelet with it. Um, and I love this and I mean I've had it for like at least a month or two and it's not gotten dingy on me It's not tarnished or lost its color or its shine I really like it I do take care of it and I take it off before I shower and I don't spray my perfume on it and do like the necessary steps to upkeep the jewelry so I feel like you know that probably has to do with it but overall I feel like it's a really good quality for a very very affordable price I love these pieces I'm actually wearing one of her pieces right now it's this little smiley face necklace and it's super cute this one was actually sent to me by accident and she said I could keep it and sent me the correct one but I've been using it a lot too and I actually really like it it's not something that I would have picked out myself but the fact that i got it by accident i really just like like it and i've been wearing it all the time <laughs> also real quick the cuff that i have on is by the same jewelry brand love ear cuffs right now i actually pierced my um conch in january on my birthday on my 30th birthday i pierced that so that i could in the future change that piercing to a hoop and i could constantly have like an ear cuff type of like hoop in my ear at all times but in the meantime while that heals i've been really enjoying adding ear cuffs to my ears i love the way it looks i think it's just like super cute and just like an unexpected like piece of jewelry love this really chunky thick 
ear cuff by um that jewelry brand on instagram and you highly recommend it my sister actually purchased like every ear cuff on the website and they're all so cute so i'm definitely going to be jumping back on buying a few more pieces of their jewelry because what i have so far i really really like and i highly recommend okay so i've been really chatty throughout this whole video i'm going to try to like breeze past the next few items as fast as i can a lot of these items are like maternity items ish i mean not all of them actually actually most of them aren't but let's just get into it so this is actually the only maternity item specifically that i'm going to be talking about everything else if you're not pregnant you could totally get but it's these biker shorts now they are maternity they have the little belly area here the thing i like about these biker shorts is they're not spandex they're not like i mean i'm sure they have like some sort of like spandexiness to it but it's so soft like they're not like your typical tight compression type of biker short which i'm just not into right now like with the ever-growing bump that that's just not my favorite now i did get these in a size medium and i would say that i could have gotten them in a small so they're 90 percent polyester 10 percent spandex um 100 comfortable <laughs> and uh they have pockets which i don't really care about the pockets but what i love about this is that they're so comfortable they're so soft they do not suck my thighs in they don't like press on my belly they're super loose and flowy. I could have gotten a small. I would just get my normal size because it does fit me a little bit big. And I feel like even when my bump gets even bigger, they still will have a little bit of extra room that I didn't necessarily need. But I love them. And I would get them again. And I would get them in other colors. Um, and if you're pregnant right now, these are my favorite. Because like I said, they're not compression at all. They're just a nice like soft fabric that feels great around your legs and around your stomach. If you're pregnant next up are these bras so I've been on the hunt I don't really love wearing bras um, and if I don't have to wear one then I won't but um, a lot of times you'll need to wear a bra and I'm not big on a wire bra with like a lot of cups stuff in it and all that jazz so I like just like little like fabricy type of bras like this with no wiring no clasp in the back I'm, i hate like i just want to be able to throw it over my head and walk out the door kind of thing you know after i put my shirt on but i got this one came in a pack of two i forget how much they cost i want to say they were like under 25 dollars for the pack and I, they come in different colors but i did go with this like nude color and i just really like them i got them in a size medium which is my true size i usually get like my bikini tops and stuff like that and bras sports bras in a medium but they're really comfortable and there's room to grow they're very stretchy they're very like soft around the edges so it doesn't dig into my sides or anything my back none of that yes baby so i love those bras and i highly recommend they're from amazon also from amazon which you guys have definitely heard me talk about these already i was wearing one of them in a video a previous video this one and it's these one piece suits it's like a tank top and biker shorts combined in one and they're great they're so good they're ribbed they're like a ribbed material they're stretchy i got it in a size I don't know. Sorry, Archie's in here again. <laughs> there, I got him in a size small. I loved it so much that I went back and got it in this like oatmeal color, and I can Meal. confirm that they fit the same. The black one and the tan one fit both fit really good. Very comfortable. Room for growth, and they just look so cute, especially in the summertime right now. Um, you just throw on like if you wanted to like an oversized button-up shirt or something like that which i've done um i wore that in my wallwood vlog i was wearing this one with like a, a shirt on top of it they're just so comfortable and like honestly unmatched i have been wearing these suits at least once a week every week um they're just the best and last but not least i just recently pulled out the maternity pillow i didn't pull it out angel went and got it for me but it was in storage <sighs> i need to like back this up this is what my pillow looks like it's just like this giant kind of c 
and <laughs> it is not one of those like super expensive fancy pillows they're, it's not like this crazy super fancy pillow. I got this on Amazon two years ago when I was pregnant with Archie and in the bigger months, like in the middle to second, I'm sorry, middle of your second trimester into your third trimester. I don't know about other pregnant women, but I would say one of these like pregnancy pillows was super game changer and helpful for, for me and my sleep, my ability to sleep. Now, I haven't gotten into that point of my pregnancy where I'm feeling like huge and extremely uncomfortable or anything like that, but I am a back sleeper and you're not it's not really recommended that you sleep on your back. And I find that when I was sleeping on my back, I would wake up with lower back pain and, and stuff. So this pillow really helps me get super comfortable sleeping on my sides. Um, and that's what the main purpose of it is right now because like I said, I don't have like a huge belly or anything. But um, it's super comfortable and it makes sleeping on my side and getting used to sleeping on my side, again, um, a lot easier for me. So I highly recommend a pregnancy pillow. If you're pregnant and you never use a pregnancy pillow, oh, like, yeah. it's really good. <laughs> I really love it. Like It's just the ultimate cuddler. You don't get too hot. It doesn't sweat on you in the middle of the night. Um, so yeah, I really love this pregnancy yeah. pillow. Alright you guys, so that is everything for this month's favorite video. Hopefully this video wasn't too long and too chatty, but I had a few things actually. I didn't think I had a lot of favorites. Archie's cleaning up, so he has to sing the cleanup song in order to like get through the task. Anyway, I had a lot of a lot more favorites this month than I thought I would. It's time to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And thanks for watching.